Round nine of the Aviva Premiership kicked off on Friday night as Bath took on Harlequins in front of a full house at the Rec. All the talk leading into this game was about the much-anticipated appearance of new signing Sam Burgess and when he would make his first appearance in the blue and white shirt. With Bath unbeaten at home in the Premiership, it was always going to be hard for the West London side. And things got even harder when the home side scored two early tries. Matt Banahan and Kyle Eastman put in the whitewash in the opening quarter. Queens managed to reduce the deficit to seven points with penalties either side of half-time from the ever-reliable boot of Nick Evans. 15 Harlequins players soon became 12 as Queens were handed three yellow cards in the space of seven minutes. While head coach Mike Ford decided now was the time to introduce the man they all came to see, Sam Burgess. No one is sure yet of his ideal position, but what is sure is his power and strength, which he showed with his first carry. It took three defenders to bring down the giant Burgess. The strong bar team finished with a flourish. Two tries from Batty and Leroy Houston to finish the game. Bath 25, Harlequin 6. Exeter took on Saracens at Sandy Park with what promised to be an interesting encounter. With Exeter's recent run of good form against last season's runners-up. Dave Ewers started the positive play for the home side in fine fashion with this half-break. Rounding off a good set of phases, Gareth Steenson awarded the first of what be nine successful penalty shots at goal. The second half saw Exeter increase their stranglehold on the North London club. Despite six more points from the boot of Charlie Hodgson, Saracen's errors compounded a miserable afternoon. When Steenson's ninth penalty of the game sailed through the post, the game was effectively over. But for a last gasp try from Myro Otoche, too little, too late. Final score, Exeter 27, Saracens 19. Leicester fly half Owen Williams produced a perfect six from six kicking display to win a tightly fought game at Welford Road against London Wasps. Wasps scored the only try of the game when Samoan centre Alapati Laua charged down a kick from scrum half David Mele, direct from the second half restart. Former Leicester favourite Andy Good was also on good kicking form, although his one penalty miss proved the difference between the sides. He scored over a thousand points for the club and his three penalties in a conversion were nearly enough to give Wasps their first win at Welford Road in six years. But it was Leicester's replacement fly half who stole the show putting the Tigers back from being behind twice before slotting the winning penalty with just a couple of minutes remaining. Final score of 18-16 means that Leicester have now won five in a row and Wasps have yet to win on the road this year. Two of the Premiership's form side met at Kingston Park with Sale hoping to repeat their victory of the corresponding fixture last season. Newcastle though made the ideal start, chasing a fourth win in five Premiership matches with a try from Juan Pablo Cicino after seven minutes. Like their host, Sale had won three of their last four Premiership games and got back into it with this try from Dan Braid, despite Cicino's efforts to stop him. Newcastle led 10-8 at the break, and when Danny Cipriani scored this penalty, Sale still trailed by two points. But then a moment of magic from Cipriani, who set up the winning try. He gathered his own chip ahead to release the Ota, who eventually scored under the post for the first time this season in the Premiership. The final whistle ended Newcastle's hope to the third consecutive home win. Final score, Newcastle 13, Sale 80. London Welsh have learned some pretty tough lessons already about life in the Premiership and they were on the receiving end again as Northampton showed no mercy on a team who can't find a way to win. Callum Clark scoring the champions first try. Despite 12 losses from 12, London Welsh have been showing signs of improvement but it was Northampton scoring all the points. Their second try coming from Stephen Myler with just over half an hour played. Samu Manoa also got one before the break Jamie Elliott scored the fourth try to secure maximum points for the visitors before Ben Foden went over for the fifth. But the champions didn't have it all their own way, with London Welsh getting on the scoreboard with this try from Tyone Veya. But order was restored as Saints extended their lead by 43-7 with two tries from Wilson and Nutley. 
But the final word went to London Welsh as Reynolds crossed the line for only their second try of the afternoon. But victory went to Northampton by 43 points to 14. The last time these teams won in the Aviva Premiership was against Leicester Tigers. And with no win since September in the league, Iris needed a big game. But with an uneventful first half, it was Gloucester who got the scoreboard ticking. The second half did make way for a couple of tries. The first came from this turnover by Gloucester. And with the quick hands of Atkinson, Purdy pinned his ears back to score from the halfway line. And Gloucester kept up the pressure and forced Irish mistakes. Garrity, when trying to clear his line, was charged down by the six foot six inch Tom Savage. He was narrowly beaten by the dead ball line. The second try came from the quick thinking of James Hook, who with a grubber kick put Steve McCall in for his first try of the season. That's a memorable day at the office, but an all important win for Gloucester before the European break. Final score London Irish 9, Gloucester 21. So Saints maintain their lead at the top of the table while Bath move above Chiefs with their bonus point win. Saracens remain fourth just above Leicester, while Sale remain sixth. Wasps are seventh, while Gloucester move above Quinns, while the bottom three stay as were. Log on to premiershiprugby.tv for all the full match replays, highlights, interviews and features. Or subscribe to the official Aviva Premiership Rugby YouTube channel.